Hello everyone, welcome to Dear Hallmark. My name is Dara and this is a space where we nerd and geek out over all things Hallmark Channel. Um, so we have, excuse me, we have the baker's son. As you can see, I'm getting choked up about it because I have some things to say. Um, for those of you who have been watching for quite a while, you know that as much as I love the Hallmark Channel, I am extremely honest. I am an equal opportunity offender, so we are not going to hold back. And I, <laughs> here's the thing. I left this movie feeling frustrated and conflicted. And here's why. We are presented with so many characters in this movie that has the potential to have great plot lines, but I feel like Hallmark pump faked us for all of them. Here's the premise of The Baker's Son. We have Matt, who's the son of a baker, hence the title of the movie. And he break he breaks, he bakes bread. And then we have his best friend, Annie, who they both grew up on the island of Windward off the coast of Washington near Seattle. And Windward is going through some trying times in that there has not been a lot of tourists to the island. So people are needing money. They're kind of like, what, what's going on? We need people to come to this island. And so this dude, Matt, sees this ballet dancer who just, it's like the hallelujah chorus begins, right? And uh, she, at first she's not checking for the kid. But once she does start checking for the kid, um, he begins to get passionate about his bread. And through that, begins to make some amazing tasting bread that this one reporter who just happens to be on the island to report on the ballet that the dancer is a part of, he buys bags and bags of bread, brings it back to the news station. And so the island gets on the news station and brings all these tourists, blah, 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 blah. Here's the thing. Um, this movie was cute. The feeling of it was cute. But it rubbed me some type of way. Like, I <laughs> I feel like there, there was so much potential that they just missed on all cylinders. Like, I uh, loved the opening credits. Loved the opening credits. Um, but I feel like more attention could have been paid to the baker instead of Matt, like his father. I would have loved to know more about his father. Um, I it get this movie gave me when calls the heart vibes because there were just so so many characters that, whose lives you began to be interested in in a way but because this was done in a movie form and it's not a series it's almost like Hallmark was just like Boop. <laughs> here's a little taste okay that's it Here, that's it and so I feel like this gave me more of like this, this should be a TV series for some reason instead of a movie. Cause I feel like there's too many players at play. Um, then we have the, I don't know this woman's name, but you know, the woman who played Mrs. Dean, who we've seen her in all of these Hallmark movies who plays a Dean, a director, a, she played a CFO in the Candace Cameron Bure Christmas movie. She, she played like, what was supposed to, who was supposed, she was supposed to be like the Wicked Witch, the modern Wicked Witch of the West. Her name was Winona. That was her name. Um, but I, <laughs> I have to give this movie two stars or two crowns because it's Hallmark. I have to give this movie two crowns because, and the dude who plays Matt, I think his name is Brent Dar Dougherty, Dougherty. I recently saw him in an Up TV movie called Just for the Summer, and he did phenomenal in that. So phenomenal. So when I saw that he was going to be a part of this Hallmark movie, I was like, bet. But that goes to show you how much writing and direction plays a part, because while he killed it in the Up TV movie, Just for the Summer, this Hallmark movie, I'm like, mm, mm. I, it gave me good bread vibes. I did appreciate it. Um, the whole falling in love thing was too soon. 
all of a sudden he just like wakes up and the last five minutes is him just declaring his love and I, I this is going I was surprised that I like I, I genuinely left this movie feeling like you hear me at Aloha is definitely better than this definitely by far and large better than the Baker's son um I felt they could have done without this personally I'm not gonna call it the snow kissed or the chasing waterfalls of the summer movies because I don't think it's inherently bad but I just feel like there were just too many missed opportunities to count for this movie to be good so I throughout this movie they kept playing previews of sand dollar cove y'all when I tell you it was throwback nation in my mind when we had we had Alice and Mashalka from Phil of the Future from Ali and AJ I right then and there I started singing chemical reaction um I <laughs> I'm so ready for Sand Dollar Cove. Um, I, I, this has the potential, Sand Dollar Cove, to be the It Was Always You of the summer. Because we got two heavy hitter actors. Two heavy hitting actors. Chad Michael Murray and Allison Mashalka. Just, I mean, all of the elements of the periodic table are about to be used. Now here's the thing, I don't want to hype this up too much. And they get my feelings hurt. Because that's what happened with Right In Front Of Me. I was so hyped for Right In Front Of Me. And then it crashed and burned for me. So I'm going to try to not hype this movie up as much as I can. But y'all, I'm mad excited for this. So excited for this. And I'm very excited to see Mallory Jensen again in her pen pal. That's the next movie we have coming up this Saturday. And then Sand Dollar, Clo Sand Dollar Cove is closing out Summer Nights on June 26th. So, guys, let me know what you thought about The Baker's Son. Again, I really feel like this was, like, this is a very, it's forgettable. Um, and I feel like this could have been so much more than what, it, this is the right in front of me of Summer Nights. That's what I'll attribute, attribute it to, where it had so much potential. The, I wanted to see more of the island. I just wanted more from this movie. And Hallmark was like, no, nah, here goes, you just get one piece of lettuce instead of a whole salad. Like, that's kind of how I felt. Well, let's talk in the comments, y'all. Um, it's kind of like they went doop, doop. Uh. And then we also got to talk about all of the, the changes that have been happening at the Hallmark channel. Maybe I'll talk about that on the gram. But man, oh man. Uh, let's, let's talk about it in the comments, y'all. What do you guys think? think about the baker's son are you excited for her pen pal sand dollar cove hello is you had me at aloha better than the baker's son let's talk about it in the comments again my name is dara this is dear hallmark i'll see you guys in the next review for her pen pal